Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a getting ready with me style video chit chat Not an update video that that'll I'll save that for another time But I'm definitely going to be doing an update a chit chat kind of video of some things that I want to talk about relationships a few other things and um, Yeah Stuff that's just been on my mind that I just haven't really been able to sit down and talk about. So I want to do that in this video. It's going to be less about the products that I'm using and just more about the conversation that I'm having. So I'm not going to show you guys every single thing that I'm using. Um, plus I have like some new products from Juvia's Place that I'm probably going to end up using in this video as well. because They just came in and I'll get to those as I get to them. And yeah, let's hop into the video. I'm actually gonna go wet my beauty blenders. I did my eyebrows off camera because that just takes way too long. And I just, I didn't wanna be, the whole video would have been me doing my brows. So yeah, just not do that. So I'm gonna go with my beauty blenders. I'll be back and we can hop into this little chit chat. I wasn't going to start this video off with relationships, but I feel like I can. And I'm going to insert the, the two videos. It's kind of like the, a video I've seen on TikTok and then somebody's response to it. Um, I'm going to insert in the video before I actually talk about them so you can get the context of where I'm coming from and why this was even on my mind. Um, I'm actually going to play it for myself because so I can kind of refresh my memory of why I was even having this conversation or this conversation in my head to begin with. I this because this is something I thought about myself um, because obviously dating nowadays sucks for everyone, especially for the ones like myself who are really truly wanting love in a relationship. Um, but I just wanna say this, you guys, please do not change who you are because of who someone was to you. The dating pool is already just a muddy puddle full of hurt people who are hurting other people. And it's like, when does that cycle end, you know? I've been divorced for almost four years now. I made a complete mess of my life that I take responsibility for, but it was through that mess that I really truly found who I was. And I made a promise to myself that this is who I am and this is who I'm going to be from this day forward, no matter what the circumstances are around me or no matter who someone is to me. And I have been. Has it been totally great? No, it hasn't. There's been a million times I wanted to give up, but I didn't because I truly believe that if you remain true to yourself, you will find the person that you're supposed to be with. But it's not gonna happen if we all give up and we're just like, screw it and just, do what everyone else is doing. Um, it might suck for a little while, it might suck for a long while, but it'll be worth it when you find your person. She's right, it sucks for everybody. Um, I'm 32 years old and I've been single ever since the social media thing started and it went big. It just seems like there's too many options and nobody wants to really be in a situation that is gonna be something good. Everybody wants to play games and things like that and nobody wants to be honest, truthful and just be straightforward, you know? Um, cell phones and dating apps and social media have have I don't want to say ruined it because we took those things and we made them things that ruined dating it's almost impossible but like she said don't give up don't change who you are you will find the right person the right person will find you Okay, so I watched, actually I saw the man's video first. I saw his response to her video and I kind of, you know, usually when I see like response videos, I kind of like to go back to the original video and see like where the context is coming from. Um, because obviously when you're um, duetting, not duetting a video, I don't know, stitching a video, it's, you know, it's cut off. Um, so I went and watched her video first and then I watched his. I related to his more from the social media aspect of it. Um, I'm going to start by um, doing my eyeshadow. I don't honestly guys I don't really know what I'm doing with my eyeshadows I'm honestly just sitting here to do my makeup just so I can have something to do while I stay here and talk to you guys So like I said, it's not about what I'm using. It's just a simple fact that we doing my makeup while I'm doing this. Okay Okay, not gonna say it again, but <laughs> I probably will um, So as you guys know, I've been single for about two years now um Honestly, happily single for the majority of the time. I've been happily single. The first year that I was single, honestly, I was, you know, I wasn't looking. I'm never actually looking, so to speak, but I'm not um, opposed to. Sorry, if you hear like a loud noise, my heater is on. And actually, you know what? Let me turn it off because I have a feeling it's going to do that. If you guys hear any type of like hissing noise, it's just my heater. Okay. Um, and 
So I've been, I've been, the first year that I was single, sorry to go back, first year that I was single, I wasn't looking for love. I wasn't open to dating, to be honest with you. Like I went on dates, but it wasn't like I knew my, I wasn't going out on dates to find my next partner. You know, I was just kind of like hanging out with different people, getting to know people, um, kind of getting a feel for like, well, what is dating now? Because my last relationship that I was in, um, which you guys know, I did a video about it. Um, you guys know who it is, but you guys know who he is. Um, you've seen him on my channel before, X, Y, Z, my, my daughter's father. You guys know him. Got it. When me and him started dating, you know, Instagram had just came out. It came out in the midst of us dating. Like I want to say we were together for about a year and then Instagram actually happened or maybe six months in, honestly, Instagram happened. So majority of that time that social media was a thing, I didn't really experience social media from a dating as aspect because I was already in a relationship and I wasn't seeking a relationship, you know? So this entire time that, um, you know, Instagram and TikTok and all these other, you know, social media avenues started coming out. I was in a relationship, so I wasn't part of the dating scene during the social media realm until now. So that's eight years later, um, actually longer than that later. And, you know, maybe like nine years, like 10 years, you know, later that I'm now back in the dating scene where people who have been single for, you know, six, seven, eight years have been in the social media dating app realm of things. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm almost like stepping into, I don't want to use this reference. It's like being in jail for 10 years and then coming out and everything has changed, right? Back when I was dating, you met somebody, you liked them, you took, you know, a few weeks, a couple months, maybe even a couple months to get to know them. I like you, you like me, we're together. Um, not saying that was good, not saying it was bad, but that's just what it was, to be honest. You know, um, there wasn't like, there wasn't like an aspect of, I don't want to say dating around because there was, but it wasn't as accessible. Like you would have literally had to date um, you know, and meet people in person, you know, um, there was online dating back then, not back then, but you, like, it's not as normal. It wasn't as normal then as it is now, you know? And even so I've noticed my first year of dating, number one, my first year of being single, I wasn't actually dating, which, you know, Corona, Corona, it wasn't going on then or it wasn't like a shutdown then and then 2020 hit and there was also shutdown now hit and then there's still people that want today is still trying to meet doing virtual dates all those types of things so there was like I, I got I was that first year that I was single it was great because I was out meeting people and I wasn't looking for anything and then when I kind of like settled down and like I don't want to say calm down because I wasn't like but you know what I'm saying like you kind of like regrouped refocused okay I'm more open to actually being in something exclusive something more committed when I got that feeling and it presented itself I was open to it and I was ready I'm like okay this is cool like you know whatever and then I realized as I was going through the dating process the mentality of people have actually changed a lot and it's actually a lot more difficult to date now one because of the option so you know Everybody swiping, you know, I'm on, you can go on Instagram, Facebook, you know, TikTok, Hinge, uh, uh, okay, Cupid. Like there's so many avenues to go to find someone, right? So I'm the type of person I'm not, I don't want to say I'm not a multi-dater. Um, I have been, I have dated multiple people at one time, but I also don't like doing that. Which is probably bad for the times we're in now. I just don't like doing that one because I don't like responding to three, four, five, six good morning texts or how was your day asked by four to five different people because I'm literally just copy and pasting from the first person who asked me. I'm just copy and pasting the same conversations to be honest with you. Um, if someone asks me how my day is, I'm not typing out how my day is all again or I'm one wording you because it's boring or it's just it's just repetitive and it's redundant and I get it. It's part of the process. But usually when I find somebody that I like, I kind of, um, they kind of get the majority of my energy, which 
I've noticed is not a thing anymore um, because, and I, I talked about this in a recent um, blog post that I did. I haven't posted on my blog in a very long time, but I've been feeling a little down, a little like sad, a little like, I don't want to say discouraged. And um, I, I haven't even started doing my makeup. I need to really, I am tripping. Um, and um, I've had people that I've dated, like once I've actually started dating, I'm, I'm not even going to say people, it's one particular person, but I, I noticed that they're not the only person that has done that um, in general, in the people that I've seen. It's the only person that has done it to me, but it's not. I've seen it like in other people that I, I know are dating, like my friends and people that I associate with. I know that they've experienced the same thing. And, you know, I've had guys, a particular guy, I'm, gonna, I'm not, I'm not going to say guys, a particular guy, um, tell me that I respond to text messages too fast, um, that I answer my phone too quickly, um, that I, you know, Again, they, they have been single longer than I have. So, again, I don't know if their experience is that, you know, women are playing, are not doing that anymore. Because I, didn't, I, I don't remember when I was dating, you know, Fernando or anybody pre-Fernando that complained about things like that. You know what I mean? So, I think when people have been single so long that they, they themselves become conditioned to what's now normal. And I guess I haven't been single long enough to conform to what is now normal because I didn't remember that ever being a problem or remember anybody ever even saying that to me in general. Um, and I get like sometimes he might have been saying it in a joking way, but it was something that was real to him. Like, you know, you're almost like you're too available. And I'm just like, well, I, if, did you call me not to answer for me not to answer or did you text me so I don't text back? Like, I don't understand what we're doing here. Like, if you text me and I see it, I'm going to text back. If I happen to see it right away, I'm going to respond right away. It, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I didn't I didn't get it. I still honestly don't get it. Um, but it was a complaint that I've heard amongst a lot of different people. I've also heard people that, um, that are, sorry, I don't even know what's going on with this makeup here. I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do. But we're, we're going to go. Um, I've heard it amongst people. Like even if you're too nice to somebody, you're too caring, you're too giving, you're too, you're too anything, any too, anything that you are too. And it's to me, it's not, it's not like I'm ever, I'm not doing anything that's out of my norm of doing. Right. I always, I do, I react how I react. If I really like somebody, I have a tendency to make sure that they know it and they won't ever question if I like them or not. Um, and that's just my personality. And I realized that that's just not normal behavior these days. Um, I feel like, like I get men like the chase. I feel like that's always been a thing, but I feel like it's become, we're all sprinting and we're all sprinting in completely different directions. We're all running from the next person to get the person to like us. And then somebody's getting tired of running, like whether it's me or them. Like, I'm, I'm not a sprinter. Like, I don't like running. Like, who the fuck? I don't have time for that. If I like you, I like you. If you like me, you like me. Like, let's, let's, what we, what we, not, not even a commitment. Just a simple fact of what is so wrong with showing someone that you like them and that you care about them and that you want to be with them. I don't know. Apparently, ugh, something wrong with it. Apparently. And I feel like that's just with the world of everyone being so accessible to everyone it's just like a bunch of like I, I hate to call it a game because again to the people who have been in this dating scene for I want to say at least four plus years anyone like over four years that have been actually single and actively dating for four years or more their mentality is completely different completely different from what I remember and I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing. I'm just saying it's an observation. And it's actually pretty annoying for me because I'm, I don't, honestly, I don't know how to, I don't know how to play the game. I don't, I just know how to be myself. You know, I know how to be a nice person, not even a nice person. Cause I feel like nice, nice is subjective. I'm nice when I want to be nice because everybody doesn't get nice, you know, but I, it's hard to be a good person because 
you know, everybody's playing, everybody's playing a game and everybody's not, you know, and everybody's playing a game that they've been forced to play. I haven't been forced to play it because I ain't been, I ain't been on the dating scene that long. You know, I haven't been on, I haven't been single, actively single, when I say actively single, for more than a year, year and a half. You know, I haven't been forced to conform to what has been going on yet. I haven't reached that level of like, all right, well, this is how it is. This, I guess this is what I got to do now. I haven't reached that level yet. And I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to reach that level because I find it just very childish and very um, wasting my time. Like I felt like with that particular person, I, I cared about that person a lot. I really, really did. And it's natural for if I really like somebody, I actually show them. You know, I, I do, I don't want to say go, I don't want to say go out of my way because nothing's ever out of my way if I make time for it. Nothing's ever out of my way. Like, you know, but I definitely, you know, consider that person in a lot of things that I do. We weren't exclusive or anything like that. And we hadn't even really been physically intimate, to be honest. So it wasn't a sex thing for me. And I'm going to assume that it wasn't a sex thing for him because it wasn't, it wasn't part of our routine. That wasn't part of our routine. And I feel like the more that I showed somebody that I like them, the less that they're interested, which I think that was always a thing, honestly, but I just never actually experienced it. I've, I've never came in contact with a guy that cared that she showed interest. You know, and even now it's confusing because then you have the guys who you don't show any interest to who then question you like, oh, wait, well, I, I stopped talking to you because you didn't seem interested. I'm just like, OK, what's going on here? What? I feel just when I think I feel I figured y'all out. I, you know, it's just very confusing. Like dating itself is just very confusing and actually very annoying for me at this point, to be honest. Um, I haven't given up and it's, again, it's hard for me to be an asshole. Sorry, can I say that on YouTube? I don't even know. Sorry if I can't. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to be an asshole. I know how to, I only know how to treat somebody that I like, like I like them. I don't know how to treat them like I'm trying to get them to chase me. Because I don't want you to chase me. Like if I like you, I like you. I fuck with you, I fuck with you. I think, like, you. <laughs> There's no games here. Like, it is what it is. And I feel like sometimes when I let go and I show that side of me, that's when everything just gets, you know, messed up. And it's actually discouraging because it's like, damn, like, I could have just been left alone, like, altogether. Because if, if, if I got to play this game with everyone and I don't like you or I can't show you that I like you because you're going to think that I want to marry you or I'm trying to pressure you or you know but at the end of the day I am dating for her for that I'm not dating just to kick it like that's not my intention like guys who make that clear that they're not interested in getting married or anything like that I just I don't entertain them like okay that's it's not a problem like I don't mind I like I don't think everybody wants to be married I don't think everybody should get married I don't think that it's a requirement but I also don't feel like I'm going to be like, oh, you don't want to get married and then still entertain you for seven months. You know, I've done it in the past. I'm too old to do it now, to be honest. Um, and then I've dated people who have said, hey, I'm interested in getting married and all this other kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden their tune changes and I'm like, oh, did it change because, you know, because of me, which is fine if it did. But, you know, I don't know. It's just very, dating is very confusing and it's very hard to stay a good person. Actually, it's easy to stay a good person. It just ends up being a pain in the ass to be a good person because you're kind of getting the shit, the shit end of the stick the entire time um, that you're dating. So that was my take on dating for now. Um, I've had a few dating experiences that really actually got under my skin and actually really hurt my feelings at one point. And I, I never realized how much it hurt my feelings until me and that person like stopped talking. And I was like, damn, this, this was a really weird situation. And um, it sucks it worked out that way or it happened that way. I don't know. 
I'm gonna go in one of these Juvia's Place bronzers because I have no idea what I'm doing with this makeup. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be an all matte look, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna go in with, this is the dark um, palette. Um, the other one that I was using, I was actually using the color, this little light brown shade from the bronze rustic palette or whatever. Yeah, bronze rustic palette. Um, and then I was using like one of the blush palettes from, but I'm gonna go in with the dark palette. I'm gonna go in with this little shade right here, which is actually kind of similar to the shade that I've been using, but, and I'm just gonna put that on the outside. Oh, it's a little different. Um, I don't actually know what I'm doing, but I might end up just putting this all over my lid, to be honest with you. Huh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I might just use that right on my lid. Because <laughs> I don't want anything bright right now, to be honest. Because um, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, dating's just been really weird, really awkward, really actually quite annoying. And I feel like, like, like the girl said, it's like, I, the mentality I have is, yeah, don't give up. I don't want to say get through life, because I don't want to make it seem like people have to be in a relationship. But I think that if you want a relationship genuinely, there is someone out there that is for you and that is going to not make you feel like what you're asking for is too much or you're putting them on too high of a pedestal because at the end of the day you know the you know i felt like even the last person i was like really talking to um and i mean talking to like i like them and it started off that they liked me um you know it was a situation where i i wasn't even asking for the I was asking for the bare minimum and the bare minimum was communication and it was like communication is one of those things that when people ask me like what's something you won't tolerate in your next relationship someone who does not know how to verbally communicate that is one of the things and I always tell people that when I meet them and I tell them so it's almost like when I hold you accountable for what I what I said like I told you when we started dating or we started talking I cannot deal with someone who can't verbally communicate so if I try to verbally communicate with you and your response is always, oh, you're trying to start an argument, that's a problem for me because it's like, just because someone brings something to your attention that is not positive, doesn't mean they're trying to start an argument. And if you guys can tell by my tone and most of the tone in most of my videos, I don't yell. Like, I'm not a yeller, I'm not a screamer. I don't like arguing, to be honest with you. I like I don't mind having a discussion or like you know having a, a dispute I guess or but I'm not gonna yell I'm not gonna like scream and yell I'm not gonna for the most part I'm not gonna curse at you unless you like take it there but that's just not my personality and I think people are so conditioned to that type of behavior that even when you're not that type of person they automatically just assume that you're gonna be that way because that's what they are used to and at the end of the day, you know, unless everyone just lets their guard down for a second, like if you actually stop and listen to the person that is trying to talk to you in that moment, like the person, not the person that, you know, you dated three years ago or two years ago, or six years ago, seven years ago, if you actually stop and let them speak and get out what they have to get out, you might be very surprised about what they say. Not everyone is going to yell at you and not everyone is trying to be mean, but the only way for you to learn what the other person needs is for you to listen you don't know what another person needs i don't care which what, what you think you know about women i don't think relationships and vice versa this goes for men and women you don't know what the person that you're currently talking to needs or wants unless you listen to them you can't assume that women need this this and this and this is what i'm going to give and that she's going to be okay with it because she's a woman as well and this is what you know my last girlfriend said that she needed and i'm giving it to you and now you're having a problem now i don't need what any of the anyone that you've ever dealt with needed you know what i'm saying and some of the things yes i made some of the things that she didn't tolerate maybe things that i actually can tolerate and vice and things that she may need she may have needed from you i may need those things too but it's not always the same it's always different we all need something different from our partners and you can't tell somebody else what they need or they want and you can't say that you aren't you don't even know how to provide it if you don't even know what it is that they're asking for you know the my bare minimum is always i ask for communication like I was saying before, communication and to be able to see you. Um, I'm a very, um, I'm not needy, 
but I do like to be in physical contact with the person that I'm dating. And that means I do need to see you on a some sort of consistent basis, not like a one-off, not like a once a month, like some sort of rich, some sort of schedule, some sort of something. That's what I need and I ask for. Yeah, that's it for the eyes, guys, because <laughs> your girl. I don't be talking too much. I'm 20 minutes in and I'm still on the first topic and I still have another one. <laughs> Side note, does anybody watch tarot? Anyone check their tarot or is it just me? I'm the only weirdo that does that. But I literally hate tarot now on TikTok because I don't actually, so I watched, it's like you watch one, you like one video and then all of a sudden all these tarot readers, they literally say all the same thing. Um, even I watch ones that are um, specific to my sign, which you guys know I'm a Cancer. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that. Um, even when I watch them on Instagram or like my specific um, sign or one that's supposed to be specific to my sign, um, it's always saying the same thing. Oh, he'll come back. He'll come back. No, who is he? First of all, who is he? Who is he that's coming back and why? Why do you say that every single week? And it still hasn't happened yet. Like, I get that they can't give you a specific date or a specific time and stuff, but like, can I get an estimate? Like, that's why it actually kind of sucks when they created this whole algorithm thing because now it's just showing you things that you like, which I get it. Like, show me more things that I like, but at the same time, if I don't want to like, everything's so calculated it's like I didn't happen to see this I saw this because I like a lot of tarot videos and they're gonna show me more tarot videos you know it's not like a net it's not it's not divine timing it's calculated timing you know so it's funny that even tarot readers do that because not you know I don't know people can be like well it's still divine timing because you didn't have to see it at the moment that you saw when you saw it I'm just like girl Bullshit is bullshit. And I love tarot readings and I love I love all of that stuff. Like I'm very into that kind of stuff. I don't read tarot or anything like that. But I do like watching stuff like that. And a lot of times to be honest, it is pretty accurate for me, at least, from my experience. Um and not every tarot reader is the same and not every tarot reader is going to be accurate. Um because some of them aren't, I don't think, spiritually connected to even read and they're just reading because they know how to read cards. Like I can read tarot cards. But I don't feel personally spirit spiritually connected to read tarot cards because I I'm just not in that realm. Like, you know, I believe in it. I do think that there's some truth to it. I don't think it's the end all be all, but I do think it holds a little bit of weight. But not everybody can read tarot just because you know how to look at the cards and say what they mean. Okay. So. That was a task. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was a task and a freaking half. I haven't worn big lashes like these in a while, so I'm like, what in the world is going on, girl? So that was my original take to some relationships. Like, I just feel like they're completely different now, completely weird. And since I haven't been single as long as a lot of the people that I'm meeting, it's their mentality is quite different from mine. As much as some of them say they want a relationship, the actual natural effort that it actually takes in a relationship. I don't even think they believe that relationships require a certain amount of effort and commitment and um, communication because everyone's so swipe left, swipe right. If I don't like you do this one thing, swoop, I'm going to swipe and find somebody else who's not going to do the one thing that you did that I didn't like. Um, and then at the end of the day, you're pretty much going to keep doing that because as soon as somebody does one thing that you don't like or one thing wrong, you're kind of ready to dispose of them because there is always going to be an available there i mean there's always technically an available amount of people but there's always this consensus which i guess almost like a factory like you know what i mean it's just really weird you know the the effort is just not there anymore to be honest with you and even the effort in what men do like i and the weird thing is there are men who i don't like that are putting in so much effort and it's it sucks for them because I, when I date, I think of the big picture. Like, you can be super nice to me. Oh, I didn't prime. I am tripping. Your girl did not prime. No, no, no. We're not, we're not, 
No, we're gonna wipe that off. Yes, I just used my finger. We're gonna wipe that off because I did not prime. And I don't need no problems when it comes to my damn foundation. But even I meet guys who actually really, really like me. And I'm actually, I'm one of those people who's upfront. Like, if I like you, I'll, I'll tell you. And we're dating and we're talking. If something happens where I'm just like, yeah, I don't think this is for me. Like, I have no problem saying that. And I think those are the men that continue to chase me. It's just like, well, I, I'm being as honest as I can be. I don't think that you're for me. Um, and it's okay. Like, all of that is okay. You know, it's, and I don't have a problem doing that. So I never want to make people feel like I'm leading them on. I'm using this e.l.f. Blurring, blurring Primer Serum. I found it at Marshall's. I don't know, I guess I kind of like it. Somebody said it's supposed to be a dupe for the Versal, uh, Bar, Barsali uh, Skin Tune Blur. I don't know, I've never had it, but I use that. Just kind of like on my areas where I feel like my pores are big, which is usually like right in here and on my chin. Um, and then, you know, I like to be honest when I'm dating. I don't ever like to lead people on. You know, sometimes people ask me for a certain amount of attention that I'm not able to give. Or I'm not feeling them that way to be willing to give them that type of attention. So I'll say that, you know, and I don't say I don't say it mean, but if you ask me, I will tell you. And that's if you tell me, like most of the time I'll just say, hey, I don't think this is working for me. And that's it. And I guess I, I expect that same respect when men, but I feel like with men, and I don't like, I don't want to generalize, but from my experience with men, they have a hard time saying that. Like they honestly think like, oh, where well, you're not gonna take, what is it like? you can't handle the truth type mentality, which at the end of the day, it's not that women can't handle the truth. And I always tell people this, you can tell the truth. However, once, however, however someone acts to your truth is not your responsibility. And you're not gonna always get the response that you may want or that may benefit you. So if you lie or you, um, don't even make the effort to tell the truth and then you're blaming somebody for something that you didn't even that they didn't even present to you like you know what i mean like it's not like you told me the truth and then i reacted like a crazy person and even if i do act like a crazy person that is my right i can act however i want to your truth and or to the truth but if you either lie or ghost or something like that and then you call and then that woman acts crazy you know, it's kind of like, not even crazy because, I don't know, if you ghost me, I'm not going to act crazy. Once once, once you really give off that firm vibe that you are no longer interested, like, I'm not calling. I'm not calling. Like, I'm not calling at all. Once, because I feel like men, men who really want you, they lay it on thick. And if you're not laying it on thick, I'm under the impression you aren't interested, which may be bad, but I don't care because I feel like. I've never dated a man who didn't put forth a certain amount of effort. And I think the level of effort that men want to portray now is not the same. It's like they want they want all the attention and give you none. And I have no problem giving attention. But at some point it gets really old if I'm the only one giving attention and you're just looking at it like, well, I know my work. Okay, we can both know our worth. So that means we both need to put for effort that we're interested in each other. Not just, well, you're going to sit down and let a woman, you know, I don't want to say court you, but you know what I mean? Like, oh, she's sweating me and all that kind of stuff. No, but. It's motorcycles outside. It's not even that hot. The sun isn't even out. It's supposed to rain. So I'm sorry if you guys hear some motorcycles in the back. But. You know, it's kind of like this mentality. Well, I know my worth, so men men aren't selling, do do this and that, and just catering to women and having women not catering to us. I have no problem catering to a man. Like to be honest with you, I have no problem being submissive. I have no problem being any of that. However, I'm not going to be submissive or catering if I am not also catered to. Like if I'm giving you all of me, all of my attention, all of my effort, you know being thoughtful, being kind, being sweet, being romantic. At some point, you do need to do those things as well. And you need me to keep up those things because I'm able to keep up those things. You can, I can keep up 
whatever it is I present to you when I meet you or anything, I can keep all of that up. And my ex will tell you that. So, you know, I think this mentality is, you know, and men get mad when we we say like they act like women. It's not we act like women because I do agree that men do want a certain amount of attention. They want to feel, you know, I want to be at peace when I come home. We want to be the, the fact of the matter is we all want the same thing and everyone's going about it in a let's see who cannot give a shit more and then eventually just stop talking to each other because everybody's acting like they don't give a shit about the other person so then eventually somebody gets fed up and then no one's talking again and then it turns into well you know you were not put forth no effort or whatever like then it turns into a whole big spadoo whatever kind of word that is but like it just gets turned to a whole bunch of nonsense where if everybody just if I like you, I like you, act like it, and then there should be no problem. Like, what? what is the problem? Like, what is wrong with... <laughs> Whatever. So, that's how I feel about dating. I think it's just pretty useless right now, to be honest with you. And for me, I am... I don't want to say... I'm not... I've, I would never say that I'm giving up on any sort of relationship. But for me, I just... I feel like what I want and what I thought relationship was, and maybe that goes for me being in a relationship, being in an actual relationship for so long. And while all this social media stuff is happening, you know, um, maybe I'm lost in the sauce. You know, I'm lost, and I can't even say you know it's an age thing because even when I did older men. Honestly, if the older men been been single four or five, six years, you know, th their mentality is the same. You know, they, <laughs> they've been on the dating scene for as long as social media has been live and kicking. So they're on the same train as everyone else. So it's not even an age thing anymore because even the older men are conforming to what's going on now. And actually, I think a lot of them have conformed to it because they actually don't have to do as much to get what they want. And a lot of, you know, I don't want to say get what they want because there are some men that are genuinely looking for relationships. I do believe that. But I feel like they're like, oh, well, I hadn't had to put in this much work in a long time because the rest of the girls out here willing and ready, which is nothing wrong with it. But, you know, then they meet somebody who... I don't want to say requires them to be a little bit more, you know, I don't know, back to what it used to be. <laughs> I'm like old school. I'm like consider like, is like my love old school? I don't even think my love was old. I think it was, I don't even think my love was even old school when it was old school. I think my love was just completely different from what I've heard from a lot of my exes. But, um... I think all, all all around it was it's different. Like when I actually in like love you and care about you, it's different. And I don't think that a lot of people are actually used to that. And I think the fact that I want to talk about things or want to express myself when I'm with someone, I think that also bothers people because they look at it as like it's an argument and if they know, they would know. To be honest with you, if I go back to my last relationship, me and my ex never argued until we actually broke up. And when I say argue, like we never <clears throat> had a screaming match, so to speak, until we broke up. And a lot of the things that happened while we were together where I could have argued, I just didn't. Um, because I don't like yelling. And like if I were to really go into detail about why we broke up and the things that would happen um, you you honestly you would be like wow like I can't believe you didn't black out in that moment or in the those those scenarios and all those types of things because that's not who I am I've actually been liking putting my um, contour like on the brush first and then working in I kind of been liking that I did that in my last video the purple one with Juvia's, the, um, the purple look I did with using the Juvia's Violets palette, I did it in that video. And I actually like this instead of like dabbing it. And I actually like doing it this way. 
and I really like highlighting or contouring highlighting under highlighting why am I saying it like that what is wrong with me what is wrong with me I'm getting a little carried away with this one though I'm getting a little carried away um I kind of like doing that um so yeah so dating is just really weird for me now to be honest with you it's super weird super weird um i'll get into more details like in my update video because i feel like you know i want to do some dating videos i'm actually you know what i'm actually going to do i might film it after this i might do like guy one guy two um and i don't like <laughs> when i date i don't actually ever use names unless we end up being in a relationship and obviously i haven't been in a relationship so a lot of my friends they actually don't know the guy's names unless they meet them or we stop talking um and even sometimes they're like who are you talking like if i accidentally like use their real name they're like who i'm like you know whoever you know whatever i call them at the time i'm not gonna use one now but um so yeah um so this is gonna come together guys don't worry i just got a little carried away with my goddamn forehead like what am i doing um so yeah so that's that on that and the tarot thing and then the other. but those are my just thoughts on dating like i don't know how like how have you guys i don't know how long tell, like comment down below how long you've been single and how's it going like do you feel the same like do you feel like dating is just very um like 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 i don't know just it's like not going well or it's just something that people don't want anymore like what are you guys feeling i'm using this foundation this is the revlon color set i haven't used this thing in a while i'm not just pulled it out honestly because i'm not going anywhere but i mean i didn't really feel like pulling out any other ones to i just kind of want to keep this look super basic um how's dating going for you guys like seriously like if you've been single recently and i mean recent like the past two years i want to say two three years at, at most how's it going and the people that have been single longer do you find that you've now conformed to the new requirement like requirements or standards of dating like and when did and when did, and if you did when did it happen like when did you were like okay freak it i'm just gonna give into the bs that's going on now because you know I'm just gonna keep getting my feelings hurt like when did that happen for you guys because I feel like everyone feels everyone is just disposable you know like don't get me wrong there's always someone else out there but like when do you just say no this is the person I want and I'm interested in I'm gonna I'm gonna rock with this one like does anybody does anybody I want to know y'all experiences it just can't be me it just can't be me Okay guys, so I just uh, decided to do a voiceover, actually not even a voiceover, I just kind of decided to speed up on this part, just because I was kind of rambling and I kind of didn't want to, you know, this video is almost like 50 minutes anyway, so I didn't want to make it too long, even though it was long and everything like that, but I felt like this part I was kind of rambling, so I just kind of sped this part up for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. Um, the topic that I was talking about though, I am doing in another video. Um, so I, I will just stay tuned for that. It'll be in the next video, but I kind of sped through this part. So just keep, you know, keep watching. Um, and I will be back at the end of the video with the finished look and everything all together. Again, all the products that I used will be listed down in the description box, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So yeah, just keep on watching and, you know, I'll be back at the end of the video when I finish the look. Okay.
Um, so this is the finished look that I came up with, guys. I feel like it looks super bronze. I think I went a little OD on the bronzer. But we were trying it out to see what it did. Um, but that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I feel like I haven't done a sit down talking video with you guys. Um, I definitely want to do more relationship talk. I feel like I may be single for a little while. Um, and I feel like I'm going to have a lot of stories. If you guys want like some stories like of situations of you know men that I've dated, I will definitely do one for you guys. I actually might film a couple today because I have a lot of time today. So I'm playing with my hair as if like I've never had hair before. <laughs> And I've had these braids going on two months. Um, but I may actually sit here and do a couple of, like, talking video guys. Like, have some, you know, start some little, start a little series here. I don't know. I have time today. So I just may do that for you guys and talk about, you know, certain men that I've met. Obviously, I'm going to keep their names private. But I will, men you know, talk about them. Maybe name the videos of the names that I've called them. Um in my dating life and experience so if you guys want that let me know i will definitely actually i'm gonna do it like i don't even i don't even need y'all to ask me just stay tuned for that video this is why i changed my video name um to this because i want this channel to be more of a reflection of me and who i am um which i am makeup i am beauty i am you know natural hair i am skincare but i'm a lot of other things as well and i guess want you guys to experience me on this i guess a more personal level like i'm a private person you know as far as like you know people knowing who I am so to speak like I don't want my name in the streets streets in that way you know so I'll definitely um I'm actually gonna film I'll film a video now and um at least one or two experiences I may only I'll probably only discuss for now the ones that I know are not in my life and will never ever be in my life again um anyone else you know um there are certain ones that are kind of in limbo or I don't know or um, they were really special to me, which I wouldn't want to talk about them, at least not yet. Um, but I will talk about the ones, you know, that are kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, so I have about two of those that I can kind of discuss with you guys. At least one that I can discuss, maybe, actually two. Actually, there are two um, that I can discuss with you guys. They may still be, they may be in the same video, I don't know. But those are my thoughts. Those are the type of things things that I wanted to talk about today. Um, I hope you guys like this makeup look. I really like it. I feel like it's definitely like everyday wear, everyday glam wear. I feel like this is not, I wouldn't do all of this. Like, I would definitely do the eyes with maybe a smaller pair of lashes or no lashes and just mascara um the lips are definitely wearable but i feel like the skin is a little bit <sighs> it's exuding something that i probably wouldn't exude on a regular day but i do like it, it came out super pretty um I'm, I'm definitely i like these these um these bronzers i do like this palette um from Juvia's place as well the, the colors are honestly pretty similar to some of the other other shades that they have which is pretty common in Juvia's place palettes as of recent um which honestly I don't mind I don't really care and talk about my thoughts on these but I'll get into that in this but I do like it, it came out very very pretty I like the colors I like the payoff I like how it worked it was pretty good so anyway um I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> I'm sorry it's so long but it was a chit chat so I hope you guys enjoy let me know down in the comments I asked some questions in video let me know down in the comments like how long have you been single do you find that your love and your your relationship dating style is totally out of whack or out of place you know have you been single you know three or you know four or more years and you realize that you conform to this new style of dating like I want the tea down in the description box because I feel like your girl is out of place i feel like i'm out of place honestly to be honest with you i feel like i'm super out of place but you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys in my next one thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking out my channel i appreciate it don't forget to turn your notifications on so you do not miss the upload the algorithm on the algorithm on youtube is trash um so if you, your notifications aren't turned on then baby you you not even gonna see this video so just turn your notifications on so you don't miss the upload i am back more often and I hope you guys stay tuned because I have a lot more videos to come bye guys